Hello and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. I'm sitting in a little bit of a different location. I'm not sure about the lighting, but I hope it's okay. Um, just a couple of things. Um, I finally jumped on the toaster sweater bandwagon. Um, I've heard about the toaster sweater probably for a couple of years now and liked it from the beginning. I don't think I've heard anybody say anything bad about the pattern. Um, I've heard people say that they have lengthened it and the arms were a bit long on it. If you don't know anything about the toaster sweater, um, there are two versions. I made version number two. The first version has a band on the bottom and <clears throat> I can't remember what else is different about it, but it may be more cropped. Um, so I really didn't want a, a cropped sort of a sweater. So I opted for version number two. Um, the, the neckline is kind of cool. It's, um, it's sort of like a funnel boat neck and you do a stitch in the ditch here to keep it down, but it's just folded under here and the um, inside um, cell facing is um, just surged. Um, I did a combination of surging and a zigzag stitch. I did stitch some seams with a straight stitch initially and then went back and surged it um, after I, I felt like the seam was okay. Uh, this I did not lengthen. This is um, this version is a little bit lower in the back, not very much, not even maybe an inch or so. Um, and this is a sweater knit. No, this is a French terry fabric, a true French terry with the loops on the back that I got at Walmart. I'm sure I didn't pay more than three or four dollars a yard. For this, I made a size extra large. I wear a ready to wear size 12. I did go by the measurements uh, on the pattern. I could have gone down to a large and I will the next time I make this and I will make this again. It's a wonderful pattern. Uh, I'll just say a few things. I was sort of, you know, the first time you look at a pattern, you're trying to figure out exactly what it is that they're asking you to do. And of course, cutting it out, I guess it was, a little bit intimidating to see the cut in lines and the fold lines and you know cut in line here another fold line um, both there are only three pieces front and back cut on the fold and then the sleeve piece um, and there's there's nothing hard about it um, I just made sure I marked the fold line here um, the fold line on the side. I'll stand up and let you see what this looks like. Um, this is it. Quite square. Um, no good pattern matching there. A little bit better there. The sleeves are long. I, um, I'm working today and I'm actually ready to go. Um, the sleeves are long even after I took them up by probably an inch or so, they're still long. This would be a super pattern to leave a gap here and to use it as a thumb hole. But I like these long, I like it if I'm out and about and it's chilly, which it is today, it's gonna be, the highs are gonna be in the 40s here in North Carolina. But it's really nice to wear the sleeves down and have them cover um, part of your hands and you know give you a little bit of extra warmth. But the shoulders are a little bit um, wide but um, I just, I like it, and yes, I will make it again. Um, yesterday, I took a trip. Everything, I live in a very rural area, so whenever I wanna go somewhere where there's fabric or patterns, except for Walmart, um, I have to travel probably at least an hour or so. Uh, I did that yesterday. Um, I had gotten a flyer and a coupon for Hobby Lobby, so I drove over an hour to see what they had. They had simplicity patterns, which are not my favorite pattern, 
Um, but I have sewn a Simplicity recently, and it was fine. Um, but for $1.99, and I had seen some of these, uh, at least two of these online, and thought they were really cute. Um, so I got three. I probably should have bought more. I could have stayed there. I had my dog in the car. Um, so but the first one I got was Simplicity 1080. You may have seen this um, online. It's really cute. And it's for woven fabrics. The line art is here. There is a tie in the back which gives you a little bit of definition um, and um, the look of a sort of an empire waist, which is my favorite type of waistline. This one is um, a Sew House 7 that Simplicity is uh, putting out also. And I have seen this on the Sew House 7 website. Um, this is what the line art looks like. You can apparently adjust the back to give you definition um, in the front, and it looks like the ties wrap around to the front, which will give you a waistline. And then this one I thought was adorable. Um, have not seen this one anywhere. This is 8334. I love that waistline right there. Um, I don't like a zigzaggy high-low hem. And this is what the line art is. You can make it with a straight, straight hem if you want to. I just thought that was really cute. And this is also for wovens. Um, medium weight, lightweight to medium weight. Um, Batiste, chalet, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton tights. Um, so, and it looks like there is, no, I don't think there is elastic in the waist. Doesn't say that for a notion. But I, I really think that's a cute pattern. I also bought fabric. It's in the washing machine, um, so I won't be able to show that to you right now. But recently I ordered more patterns online from McC the McCall's Butterick Vogue sale. <clears throat> this I've seen a lot. I like this. It's um, M7381. To me, that's just adorable. Um, and it's also for similar fabrics. It's for woven fabrics. This one, I've looked at this for quite a while. This is a Vogue. It's a Vogue 1510. Um, the line art is here. It looks to me there's one option that has a non-working zipper in the front and another one that has a functional zipper in the front. I need to look at that some more. Um, I would opt for the functional zipper in the front, I think. But that looked really cute to me. That's for woven woven fabrics and um, faux leather kinds of things too. This one, um, McCall's uh, 7391. I don't know why I got this one. It's sort of like a tunic top and that looks like a, a dress. It is a dress. Here's the line art. It's got some grommets in there and I do have a grommet maker. You could probably also use a uh, buttonhole that goes horizontal and put a uh, tie in there if you wanted to. So I thought that was cute. This one, uh, Viv Mom made me buy. She made it and it looked adorable on her. This is uh, a very easy Vogue 9022. And um, this does have sh some shaping even though it doesn't have darts in it. Um, but I thought that was cute. This one, just a nice top. I do not like this hanging down part. That's just not for me, but that one's certainly cute there. And this is for wovens, medium weight. Um, Wovens, and I like that. I've got some woven fabrics I need to make use of. 
I think I bought this recently. I don't think this has been hanging around. This is a, um, what is this? It's a vest and uh, like a jacket kind of thing. That's the vest. Um, I would make the, the jacket. I thought that was uh, pretty. This one I got for, I think I got this with my grand boy in mind. And just looking at it, oh, okay, this is a small, medium, and a large. Um, this is for knit fabrics. It's a um, hoodie and a couple of tops, a top with a hoodie and a round neck top without the hoodie on there. So I'll see what I can do with that one. This one I also got, this is for knits. I've seen this before. It's McCall's 7353. Um, I like well, I guess I like all the versions of that, but probably the dress without the cowl neck. All right, and then I got this one, and then um, I don't know why I bought this one, really. It may have been for the pants. Could have been for the pants. This is, um, it's a Mrs. Jacket top skirt and pants. Loose fitting, unlined jacket. And a fitted pullover top, close fitting skirt, tapered cuffed pants with an elasticized upper edge of self lined yoke. That's what it looks like. McCall's um, 7331. But I did, I remember looking at the line art and liking the way the top of the pants looked. It doesn't look like a traditional elastic sort of casing. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at that some more. And then I got this, sorry, just get the camera. And then I got this one. This is a McCall's um, 7843. It's a skirt and a pair of um, pants. This looks like, let me see. This is for knits. It's a close fitting skirt and pants with an elastic waist. The pants have, uh, or both have length variations. So this is what it looks like. And the line art looks like that. Um, so I like that one too. All right, so that's it. Uh, next time I'll show you the fabric that I bought. The fabric was um, discounted further than there. You know, the, at Hobby Lobby, uh, so much of everything is always 30% off, but this was an additional 30% off. Some things were 50% off. So um, I had a good time. I think in total, I spent maybe $100, which is not bad for the patterns and all of the fabric that I bought. So, um, so I was really, really pleased and um, enjoyed my trip. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.